Hey everybody, this is Captain Philip with Airworthy Tours, your guide in the sky. And today we're taking a tour of Exposition Park, which is an urban park that is full of landmarks and attractions. We are clear for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour. Exposition Park, or Expo Park, was established in 1872 as an agricultural playground. Today, it is a 160-acre park in South Los Angeles. The park is a public open space managed by the California Natural Resources Agency. A quick look at the Expo Line, which is LA's most reliable form of public transportation. You can take the Expo Line straight from downtown LA to Santa Monica. Our first stop is of the historic Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Opened in 1923, the stadium has hosted the Summer Olympics in 1932 and 1984, with a third set of games on the way in 2028. Speaking of the Olympics, a quick look at the LA 84 Foundation Swim Stadium, which was constructed for the 1932 Olympics. The venue hosted the swimming, diving, and water polo portions of the 1932 games. On January 15, 1967, the Coliseum would be the venue for the first AFL-NFL World Championship game between the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Packers won 35-10. This game is now known as Super Bowl I. The Coliseum has a permanent seating capacity of 93,000. Past tenants have included the UCLA Bruins, the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Rams. However, as of 2021, its only tenant is the USC Trojan football team. Next door is the Bank of California Stadium, which is the home of Major League Soccer's LAFC. The stadium was completed in 2018 with a $350 million price tag. The previous building was the LA Sports Arena. Ahead is the California Science Center. The facility opened in February 1998 and spans more than 400,000 square feet with four major exhibit areas, including a spaceship. Space Shuttle Endeavor opened to the public in the Science Center's newly built Samuel Oshkin Pavilion. Speaking of space, under construction now is the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art. When it opens in 2022, it will feature an in-depth exploration of the art of filmmaking. But most importantly, it will have a dedicated Star Wars exhibit. Below is the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County, which holds more than 35 million specimens and artifacts, making it the largest natural and cultural history collection in the Western United States. Ahead is the California African American Museum. It is the first African American museum of art, history, and culture fully supported by a state government, showing the critically important role African Americans have played in the American West's cultural, economic, and political development. Our next stop is of the beautiful Rose Garden. The Rose Garden opened in 1928 and has seven acres worth of flowers, picnic space, and a central fountain. As of 2020, there are over 200,000 bushes and over 200 varieties of roses. And of course, it is a popular location for photo shoots and weddings. And our last stop is the prestigious University of Southern California, or USC for short. 
not to confuse it with the University of South Carolina, which nobody does anyway. USC is most known for its impressive alumni in the filmmaking industry. Notable alumni include film directors Ron Howard, George Lucas, and Steven Spielberg. And USC is the only university to have an alum nominated for an Oscar every year since the Academy Awards inception in 1929. If you would like to attend SC, it will be tough as the university has a 13% acceptance rate. If you're looking for a beautiful picture for your home, office, or home office, make sure to check out our store at www.airworthyprints.com. Free shipping and a digital print is provided on each purchase. If you enjoyed today's tour, you can tip your tour guide by hitting the like button. What were some of your favorite attractions and landmarks in today's tour? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to be a part of future aerial tours. Thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours, and we look forward to seeing you on our next flight.